A lot of people have been asking what I think about the, the first season of Hitman 2016. And uh, my response to that has been that it's a great game, but I don't want to play it. And I'm making this video so I can elaborate on why I don't want to play it. Like, obviously the game is very good. Like, the level design is, for the most part, some of the best in the series. Mechanically, it's uh, open enough to allow for tons of different playstyles. And the disguise system is by far the best it's ever been. And uh, I think the uh, starting locations they added is easily the best thing that's happened in the series uh, since Hitman 2 added, added the, uh, the rating system. And uh, I even think the episodic release it works perfectly for Hitman. And like, overall, the game seems to get what Hitman is about. It's like, it's what should have happened after two contracts and blood money. But goddamn, I'm sick of seeing uh, the direction the game has been heading uh, since the midway point of the season. Like, to, to me, the obvious uh, turning point where things started to go sh go to shit was the summer bonus episode in which uh, the NPC view cones were moved from their chests to their heads. Like that sounds fine in theory, except that the uh, view cones are absolutely massive and the NPCs move their heads randomly. Meaning, uh, since the summer bonus episode, luck has played a huge factor in uh, trying to make any kind of precise plan to work. Like, maybe that doesn't bother uh, people who don't do much precise stuff in the game or people who only got the game after July, but to me that ma made the game significantly worse and it's impossible to overlook as I know how much better it used to be. Then there's all the small changes that don't don't change the game as fundamentally, but still make it worse. Like uh, NPCs were made nearly deaf to bullet impacts for some strange reason. Uh, the Jaegers and Lancers wall piercing was removed, breaching judges were made lethal, uh, the sauna window in Hokkaido was made bulletproof. Like, these type of changes don't make the game better for anyone, but it does, ma does make it worse for a, for a small handful of the most hardcore fans and someone at IO Interactive had to waste time and effort to make those changes, which blows my mind. And while these changes are being made, some of the real problems are still completely unaddressed. Like, uh, for instance, killing a target by shooting them, them from the front counts as being spotted, and you lose points for that. Uh, targets can still mentally trigger alarms when they see you. This is really noticeable in Colorado. Um, NPCs still see through walls if you go behind a corner and uh, commit a crime like shoot someone too quickly. And escalations still have five levels for some goddamn reason that is totally beyond me. And the most recent patches have even added uh, new, <laughs> quite significant uh, problems, I think, like uh, guards who are trying to deliver weapons to whatever drop-off points. They just keep dropping them for whatever reason, and sometimes when 47 draws an item, uh, he's unable to pick it up. Pick it up again. When are these getting fixed? Who knows? There was no oh, patch in April, and it doesn't seem like there's going to be one in May either. So, are these glitches here to stay? They weren't there like a few months ago. And then there's the pro mode, which really felt like a slap in the face to me. So if they wanted to add more replayability to the uh, existing maps, why the hell did they do it by making the player repeat the same challenges again so they can unlock the same starting locations again? It makes no sense to me, especially when there, well, there still are plenty of ways they could uh, improve the existing maps. And uh, I'm not even talking about major things like uh, doing something with the Marrakesh uh, riot or um, making the uh, Ezra Burke mask hey, a disguise. Like, you know, I'm talking small things like uh, how about adding planning and debriefing to the tutorial missions? Why was that not in the game in the first place? Or remove the single exit bullshit from Freedom Fighters? Uh, could maybe add some starting locations, the bonus missions, or even the main missions, stuff like uh, uh, Vampire Magician or Scarecrow or Plague Doctor would be pretty decent as starting locations, in my opinion. And 
<laughs> then there's the obvious way to add a new replayability, which is how about adding some challenge packs that are actually challenging and not just busy work. That? Uh, but anyway, it's, yeah, it's a great game. People will probably love it. I just think it's really disappointing to uh, compare how the game turned out to how good it uh, could have been or just how good it used to be before July. Like, most of the problems I'm seeing here are not beyond fixing, but at this point I just <laughs> I have more faith in some water stepping in and fixing them than I already think their priorities. Hmm. Who knows where they are at the moment. Hope that clarified some things. Oh, like, good game, but I don't want to play it. <laughs>